Hey folks, we're still chasing crappie, still catching some fish. Today we're going to go crappie fishing in the staying water, still like 48 degrees. Going to try a new bait. Got something here I'm going to share with you at the end of the video. Let's go catch some crappie. Alright guys, a little windy today. There's three fish right there. And this, so I'm going to have a time keeping up with them. Where's my bait coming down right there? Somebody made a comment on the colors. I switch colors sometimes. It helps me keep up with them. Here comes one after. Oh, I messed it. Did y'all see that? I lost it. He come, he come after it. And I messed it. That's a good sign. Maybe they'll be a little more aggressive today. That's, that was the first cast. I lost him. I lost him. Boy, you think you can't lose him in the scope? You can lose him. If he turned in a different direction, see some shads pulling around there too. There comes my bait right here. A school shad pulling around there too. See him? I'm amongst those shads. I come right past him, see? There I am. See, at 35 feet out there, it's hard to keep that little beta. Uh, so one sixteenth. It's hard to keep that in the in the target, in the live scope. Wind blowing ain't helping me. And I lost him. This one's moving from the trolling motor. Here's the trolling motor. See him going the other way? I got a fish. I'm telling you. Some days we had we've had it's been a little cold for a couple of days and I finally got to get out there and I tell you what, it knocks the bite. They are hard to catch today. I've had a bunch of them follow me. But this is the first one I've caught. He's a nice one. Nice one. What do y'all think of that one? Them guys right there are running in no water. There's no water right there where they're at. You know, it's amazing how you see people on the lake, because I know the, this area good. I only live like two miles from here. Yeah, I see they stopped. I don't know if they hit bottom or what, or they noticed the death final said zero. It's a shallow ridge that comes out, guys. And it used to be a danger buoy marker right there, out behind my engine here. And the channel's right behind me. It's a 25 foot deep, but it goes up to a flat back there. It's in a cove. I think I just realized it, didn't I? Look out. But anyway, let me get this fish back in. Guys, he's a nice one. He's probably 15 inches. Is that a leech on him right there? He's a good 15 inch crappie. There you go, buddy. Gone, too. He's following me there. Me clean back to here and he quit on me. I think I'm gonna try another color, guys. I'm trying, I like to do different colors in my videos, but there he is right there. I'm really struggling today to see this color. I like, I like it. I don't know if I fish. Okay. I don't know if it's showing up as good as I want to show up. I like it. on the camera. It's showing up good here. For me, I just lose my bait sometimes. I got my bait down. And that's a windy day for you. But guys, they're following me today. I have not had one hit me yet. That one act like he was going to eat it alive and then nothing. So. Got one, guys. And now that bunch I'm going to show you on the death finder was six or eight of them. I just kept throwing at them and Kept throwing at them. Wow. The wind is awful today. I'm sure y'all can hear it. I'm trying to keep my back to the wind best I can, guys. You know, you get a day to fish and, and the wind's like this, right? I 
Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. Wow. Wow. That's why I'm throwing a bigger swim bait. Why don't fall in the water? Dennis gets excited. Let his rod fall in the water. I mean, this is a jack all swim bait. Wow. Who y'all think of that one? A piece of his tail going there. That's because he was fighting so hard, he burned a piece of his tail off. See, it's even black on there. Uh, I'm going to measure him real fast. Let's see what he is. All right, guys. Got another one. I'm going to tell you what. They like this old jack all minnow. This is the reason I'm throwing this color. It's gold. Y'all can see it's cloudy. Water stained. This is a 2.8 inch minnow. I bit just a, well, I didn't. I used scissors. That's a nice one, too. I took the scissors and I cut just a, about a, qu about a quarter inch off so it go up on the hook good. Oh, come in. And I got a nice hook in it. I got a sickle hook in it. Okay. Got, where you hooked at, buddy? I got you. I don't want to grab that hook. See that hook? I used a bright head. I give it some color. So the body's gold. Got a nice tail on it. Guys, I've caught bass on them. But I've caught crappy on these before. He's a nice crap. He's, he's not quite as big as that last one. That last one was 14. I married you guys. And I threw him back and went, oops, I don't have the camera on. Uh, like I said, you're here fishing, you're fishing, you know. Sometimes you forget that you're filming too. That one's probably 13, 13-ish, 13, 13 and a half maybe. All right. Look at this fish hanging off the stump, and that's y'all can see right there. It's about 16 feet deep. If I can keep my boat still, I'm see if I can catch him. Come on, guys. I'm just blind casting. I'm going down a bank here, just watching for fish, and I'm just casting. I see one once in a while, so I'm just casting a reel, and I was watching the death finder. And I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a crappy. Let me get back here with. Her. I got a net. Feels like a pretty good sized fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a striper. <laughs> he nailed it. It's four pound test. <laughs> Y'all know this is my favorite thing to catch, don't you? So, oops, good. The bait came out of his mouth. That's a small striper in the is he making noises? He's probably, he might be two pounds, guys. He might, he might have broke two pounds. That's about it. Okay, guys. I gave him a break, guys. I went to fish somewhere else for a while. And the wind is so bad everywhere, so I came back where I started. Oh, that's a nice crap. Don't, oh, man. You think I had a bass, didn't y'all? Way he come up and fought? Yeah, for the for you know I've heard people say, oh, I don't like to fish for crappy. They don't fight. <laughs> well, and then when the water's cold, they like colder water. They fight good. Once that summertime comes, the water warms up. They do. They don't. They don't fight as hard. He's hooked good too. If I can get a hold of him, he's hooked right in that lip. Old swim bait, guys. Now, if I can get. get Get my hand, there you go. Look at that crap, what y'all think of that one? Great day, look at the belly on him. Woo -hoo -hoo! Great, look at that. Guys, he's a 15 incher, isn't he? You think so? I've done this one other time. <laughs> look. <laughs> Makes a, huh? Okay, here we go. Bam, going. seen this one on he's a decent one too i seen him on the scope and i didn't get the camera on fast enough on that i have on the live scope <laughs> he's a nice one too i thought he was gonna be a baby he didn't look that big you know it depends on what direction they're coming at you on the scope all right i'm sorry guys sometimes i have trouble getting on he's only about nine and a half inches maybe ten he might make 10. Yeah, he probably make 10. Uh, see you, boy. Wow, guys. I, mean, I threw at this one about 10 times. <laughs> and that's why I kept throwing it because he looked like he was a nice one. He was a big yellow spot. <laughs> he was. <Ooh. laughs> 
Love it, love it, love it. I knew you were beckoning, buddy, and you nailed it too. Great time of day. Whew. Gracious, guys. <laughs> Looked up barely on that thing. Whew. You got it too, didn't you, buddy? He, he, he's not hooked bad. Just, he's just skin hooked. I gotta give myself some slack line. Come on, I push it out with my finger. There it is. No problem. Look at the eggs in that thing, guys. He gonna lay a bunch of babies. He's a 15 incher. <laughs> Didn't hurt him, did it? See him after the shad? He's after the shad, isn't he? It was eating those shad. Hope I got that. Like I said, the wind's pushed me so bad. I'm carrying come back down. He was interested in that bait. He been eating those shad, he's hard to fool now. <laughs> he's gonna have a mouthful of the real thing, you know. He going like, eh, that ain't quite looked like what I was eating there a while ago. <laughs> hey folks, this is what we was using. Jack off rhythm, rhythm Wave 2.8. Now this color's called Golden Shad. Pull one out, I'll share it with you. See that gold flake in it? And guys, I cut about a quarter inch off. See that nose comes to a point. I don't know why they do that on baits. We're going to put them on a lead head or something anyway, right? Uh, I, I cut about a quarter inch off, put it on there. What I was doing is I was spotting crappy on the live scope. I was stunning it out, letting it drop to death in word, we let it past them. Okay? That's how I had it rigged, guys. Nice little nasty hook. I see I cut this a bite off, that's a 1 16th. Guys, I think this is 6 pound uh, P line floor clear, okay? This is rod is a 6.5 foot, it's a Fenwick Eagle. Nice rod. That's a Shimano Sierra reel. Uh, good outfit. So I would uh, cast out there, let it drop to the desk, and build it past. Some of my multiple casts them, get them hit. The weather here, this, the water temperature's been seesawing, guys. We got up to 52 one time, back down to 44. Now we're back up to 48. We get a couple warm days and we get a couple cold days. So the crappie are still running the flats. I didn't see as many crappies as I've been seeing. I mean, I really had to work hard to find as, uh, some. There was some scattered here and there. Some of them have pulled back deep. I went out toward the channel, and some of them have pulled back to 15, 18 foot. So I think it's because the water temperature uh, seesaw on them. They don't know what to do. They're kind of like, hey, it's spring coming or not? I think the same thing. Hey, guys, my name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. There's another bait you can use. If you're into the crappy fishing, check out my other baits. Using gold for crappy, using bluegrass for crappy. Bluegrass work, color works really great for crappy in the stained water. And that's what I've been doing, a series on how to catch fish in the cold, stained water. Okay? My name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. Guys, we'll see you next time.